So the manual actually came to be in 1943, and it initially started out as the syllabus for the pathophysiology course for the medical students, and it was written by the chief residents. Yeah, after it had just been circulated within the WashU um, community, it started to um, get sought after by other um, internal medicine programs, and so at that point they decided to turn it into a textbook. Since then, it's been edited um, by the chief residents every three years, and we're currently at our 34th edition. Um, it's coming out soon. It's still um, currently the number one best-selling medicine textbook worldwide. And I think really what makes it stand out amongst all the other textbooks is that it really has the best balance of a brief pathophysiology overview along with up-to-date clinical and treatment um, options for a good in the clinical setting. I think this book is really helpful for anybody who is involved in patient care, starting from students, nurses, NPs, PAs, physicians who are in training, and as well as physicians who are teaching. There are a couple of things. We've definitely spent a lot of time updating the material and all of the basic chapters so that this is really the most up-to-date information that you can get. Uh, there's a new toxicology chapter this year, um, and I think what we hope will be one of the best features is the ability for this to be an electronic platform so that now it can be downloaded as basically an ebook, so you can have it on your iPad um, right with you and it'll definitely fit in the pocket. The Washington Manual will be fully interactive. Uh, it's very user-friendly. You can use a search term. For example, if you want to search peripartum cardiomyopathy, it would take you right to the pages that discuss peripartum cardiomyopathy. You can bookmark pages. Uh, you can just highlight with your finger any passages. Uh, it'll save those highlights. It also allows you to take notes. You can also share your notes and share those pages. I think the thing that really sets it apart is, you know, there are a lot of books that are pocket size and can give you a little bit of information on, you know, what tests to do and what treatments to do, but I think, you know, ours stands apart because in addition to that, you know, we give the pathophysiology behind it. So you don't just know what to do, but you know why you're doing it.